Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we're looking at a CWL base. Sorry for the delay, uh, but we're going to take a deeper look at one of the World Championship bases, as well as um, editing a little bit of the traps after a couple of days in Legend League. So, let's get started. So, you can see this is the 53-5200 range. Um, at the time of recording, this was around the top 3,000-ish in the world. So these aren't these aren't um, a random set of Legend League players at the 5200 range right around right around now at the time of release. So a couple of days ago, oh, was when this was filmed, uh, right at the start of the season. So we are going to look at four different strategies. First up is the uh, Yeti. Witch Bowler. <laughs> Yeti Bow Witch. So, starting with the Warden Walk at 6 o'clock, it takes a very long time to get through this, and there's not very much defense, but it does get a good funnel going for, or going for the entire the rest of the portion of the attack. But you use the Siege, siege Barracks a little bit too fast, so not much going on there and also with this kind of attack I prefer the siege barracks with two witches and a yeti I think is what fits in there because then the witches are able to tank a little bit more than just uh, having two yetis in there can do damage so with the quake into the middle He's got pretty much everything in the middle, except for the bottom side. He's got all the witches there, which I think he placed there on purpose. I, I didn't actually see that. But right into the middle there, he's attacked by all the uh, eagle, expos, and the slammer. Or the scattershot on the backside. So he just barely gets the town hall. And that's part of the allure of having the town hall sort of by itself. Is that sometimes, even if you place everything in the middle, sometimes they miss it. So, kind of just barely getting the 2-star, and then barely getting the 50% as well. 54% 2-star from that. And next up is E-Drag Attack. This is a pretty common strategy. It's actually even more common now than I, I've seen it before. And this one's a little bit special. So... The E-Drag attack is very simple. Basically just put everything down in one line and use the Warden ability early. Which is a bit of a problem for this attack. Sometimes. As you'll see. So... This is actually a really nice attack uh, strategy. So, And you'll see that in a future CWL video maybe. It's very simple and works on almost every base. Uh, unless you physically make the base uh, with this strategy in mind. So placing two tiles between every defense or so. And here is when it would have been useful to have the ward ability. With the blimp in the middle, caught by the tornado trap, not going to be able to reach the town hall. So unfortunately this is going to be a one star from this guy. So even with the... Uh, even with the rage spell there, there's no way that he can get there. And... Heroes used a little bit late to get the funnel down. I guess to get the funnel down where he needed it. But didn't quite get it exactly how uh, he's supposed to. So, with this base, there's two versions of the base. The, the original version, that CCL from... Base building 101 built. Um, his links are in the description. And the base that they used after tweaking it a little bit. Now, I think that the. Uh, both, uh, both different types of bases uh, have good trap placement in their own way, but I combined them in the link in the description for the base that I'm running now in order to get. to try to get the best base possible for you guys. So it combines the Tornado Trap, which was originally placed by the right side cannon by the uh, 
by the warden to take out any blimps or so from there. But I think maybe with CWL, you might see that e drag attack, um, depending on where you are. So it would be nice to see if you can get that strategy, um, get get that strategy to fail in the exact same way you saw on the Legend of the League build. So here is the hybrid attack. This is actually a pretty good entry for the hybrid attack, although there aren't very many good entries on the space. So queen going for the town hall. You kind of have to do that because if you just wanted to hybrid into the town hall from the three o'clock side, it'd be pretty difficult to get enough miners into there so that you can guarantee the town hall because otherwise you might get like three or four miners on there to trigger the town hall and then the town hall just shreds everything else. And if you go from the, but if you go from the five o'clock or the seven o'clock side with the miners, you could probably get to the town hall. But that means you have to face the scatter shot and single inferno with the queen charge in order to create the funnel for that. So it makes it a little bit difficult, but I think this is the right entry for the base, even though you can't quite get the three star unless you get pretty lucky. So planks in here doing exactly what I said he would be pretty good. And the Queen Charge at the bottom side is able to get the Town Hall and the CC taken care of, and then the Warden and Heroes take care of the left side of the base. Trying to get over to the right side, but with the scatter shot pretty well protected over there, and the Eagle still not going down, that's gonna be that's gonna make it really extra tough for the miners. So they get a pretty nice percentage on the space compared to the other attacks. But not quite going to make it to the 3 star. Leaving up a couple of defenses at 12 o'clock and at 3 o'clock. And finally we have a Lalo attack. So this is pretty rare. And you're going to see right here doesn't quite get the CC. So I was trying to do, I was trying to avoid attacks where someone made a huge mistake, but this is the only other strategy I saw from my defense log is this Lala with the CC not quite hit. But the thing is the CC isn't isn't a huge deal with this attack because it's just headhunters and he ends up as you'll see in a minute. He ends up using the Warden ability early anyway, so it wasn't like the Headhunters killed the Warden um, too quickly to uh, like waste the ability or something. But he does end up getting the King in here. Pretty sure he doesn't get the Queen, but the, the uh, Royal Champion is able to help there as well. So... Royal Champion gets the Inferno Tower, and Wallbreakers actually get into that single Inferno Tower compartment, so the King's able to have all two. Royal Champion... ...does get the Eagle, so that's really good value. And now he's just left with two Scatter Shots and a Town Hall and single Infernos. So that's actually not a bad start, even though he missed the town, uh, CC. Uh, with the Warden ability over the Loons, but the Loons aren't really tanking very much, so not a huge value for that ability. And the traps on the top side are able to take out all those Loons. And Rage Spell on the Town Hall I think was necessary because there wasn't anything else on it. So just kind of falling flat at the end there. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy the base, and I hope you see some defenses in your wars. So, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.